You're listening to Miss Style, Strength, and Grace with Deidre Murphy. This is your one-stop shop for style, fashion, health, and fitness. Deidre's passion is to help empower women to reach their fullest potential, both inside and out. Deidre and her guests will be discussing how to develop your style, health, and lifestyle hacks to energize your day and inspire you to keep reaching higher levels of success. Deidre is a professional fashion stylist, health guru, and Mrs. Washington 2017. It's time to get open and honest with Deidre. Well, hello and welcome to today's episode of Miss Style, Strength, and Grace. Today, I am very excited to focus on the strength portion of my podcast. A lot of you, you know, have asked and reached out and said, Deidre, how did you lose the weight? You know, just a quick recap for those of you that may not have heard it before, but At my worst, I weighed 40 pounds heavier than I do right now, and there's not one thing that I could pinpoint that led to this downward spiral for me, but the biggest thing was I was losing my hormones and I was not sleeping, which caused depression, anxiety, and, you know, my adrenals were burnt out, cortisol levels were spiking at the wrong times. It led to weight gain, even though I was eating, well, trying to eat right, but then I went down the downward spiral of saying, well, I'm going to gain weight anyway. I might as well just be fat and happy. (laughs) It was a really dark place in my life, but I was able to get myself out of that situation and I learned some key tricks and tips in order to help reset my hormones, really balance my body and get back to the person and the Deidre that I wanted to be not just so I could fit back into my jeans again. I mean, although that was a great byproduct of losing weight, the truth was I really just needed that positive outlook on life again. I needed energy and I needed to become happy again so I could enjoy time with my family, friends, and loved ones. So as if you haven't listened to it yet, I have a big podcast on how I lost the weight and it's all about the big life changes and things that you can implement in your life as well if you are on a journey to healthiness and not just again weight loss but overall health and wellness. But today I want to focus on the workout portion. So how many of you are sick and tired of working out day in, day out, maybe for one, two plus hours at the gym and not getting anywhere? Today, I'm going to teach you my tricks, how to burst through these walls and how to really get the great results you want in as little as 12 minutes of exercise a day. Who would like that? I mean, now you can learn how to work out smarter and not harder. Now, granted, This has to do with, you know, what goals you want to make in your life. If you want to get healthier, reset your balancing hormones, burn fat longer throughout the day, then this is the type of exercise that's really going to help you get you there. I started to learn about burst and circuit style training when I first started my journey to health and weight loss. I joined a CrossFit gym at the, you know, compelling arguments of a friend of ours. And although I was super scared to join a CrossFit gym, I thought, oh, I'm going to injure myself or they're going to make me lift crazy weights. I'm going to have to flip tires and I'm going to get hurt. And it was not like that at all. First of all, the CrossFit gym I joined met me where I was at and helped lead me through the way and developed not only my strength, but my knowledge about working out, but Two, I didn't have to do it five days a week. Granted, I was on a little bit of a budget, and so my ju- my husband and I joined together, and we were able to do the combined plan. And typically, he worked out at the gym two or three days at the CrossFit location here. I was usually going maybe one or two days a week just because of my schedule. And then on the other days that I was working out, so at least three to four days a week, I was going to Gold's Gym on my own. So not only was I going to Gold's Gym on my own, I had to use and learn the types of exercises and the routines that I was learning at CrossFit on my own at Gold's Gym because I didn't have a personal trainer there. And although I was you know, just learning, I was able to come up with circuit styles of workouts that I could do on my own that really helped trigger my fat burning hormones. And usually it would be a circuit of three to four individual exercises. I would go through them as quickly as I could for, you know, three to four rounds. And it really helped me 
make the most out of my gym experience so that I wouldn't have to go for hours upon hours, especially, you know, as a, at the time I was still de- dealing with the insomnia. So I didn't want to spend extra time at the gym or wake up extra early, maybe when I wouldn't have had a great night's sleep just to go to the gym first thing in the morning. Let's first talk about the benefits and why it's important to implement this type of exercise. And then I'm going to talk about some of the cons of other types of workouts, say long endurance ones. And then I'm going to teach you my four favorite ways that you can incorporate burst or circuit style training into your realm, whether you have a gym membership, whether you don't have a gym membership, whether you have equipment or not, these are things that you can do at home or at the gym to help really trigger your fat burning hormones and help you reach your goals. So first of all, the benefits of circuit style or high intensity interval training, hit circuit style, burst training, whatever you want to call it, it all really just means the same thing. Not only does it increase your heart function, but it decreases blood pressure, decreases your body fat, increases your bone mass, especially as women, we really need to work on our bone density so that we don't have to worry about osteoporosis later in life. It also decreases the bad so-called cholesterol, cholesterol, excuse me, but also increases the good cholesterol. It increases energy, regulates your sleep. This was a huge key for me getting my sleep back on track was actually working out. I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, like, but wait, if I work out, I'm going to be tired. Well, it helps not only with your hormones resetting, but it helps you get back into that regular sleep pattern when you do go to bed. And it also decreases toxicity levels, decreases your your risk for diabetes, your risk of injury, and overall benefits. Obviously, weight loss fitting into those clothes again means higher self-esteem. I know for me, just knowing that I can do heavy lifting with my body or knowing that I can run a long distance, it just shows my whole mind over matter mentality. And there's more, I'm going to talk about that, but now let's compare that to long duration types of exercise. So when I am talking about this, think of those people that you might see them at the gym day after day and they're on the treadmill. Maybe they are on the bike and they have their magazine out and they're kind of going at a slower pace or a, a lower intensity level, but they're running or they're biking for hours upon hours. Now, granted, any sort of exercise is better than no exercise. So I'm not dogging on those that are doing like this longer style workout and anybody going and actually working out is running laps around the person sitting on the couch. So I'm not saying to never do this type of exercise. However, usually uh, when you see those people, do they look different a month later or do they look the same? You might see that person that's on the treadmill for five days a week, two hours a day, but they're actually becoming a sugar burner instead of a fat burner because it stimulates their hunger. Um, but also it's just not leading to the longevity and the goals that they necessarily want to have, but you don't know everybody's story. For instance, that person might be training for a marathon. I myself am actually training for a half marathon right now. So there are days where I'm doing those longer style exercises and there's nothing bad about that, but it just depends on what your goals are. So, um, there are some cons to doing this longer style workout. It can you know, harm our hormones because you're not helping to trigger not only fat burning hormones, but female hormones uh, like estrogen, even in men, testosterone. Uh, It actually can slow metabolism and it's longer time. Who's got time for that? And it actually increases stress on the body and the joints. So the action step obviously is to focus more on higher intensity interval style, style workouts, excuse me. A USDA Human Nutrition Research Center actually enrolled 10 90-plus-year-old nursing home residents in an eight-week study on our high-intensity resistance training program. And so these subjects, they not only experienced average gain in strength of 174%, so that means they were increasing their muscle mass, but they increased their thigh muscles by 9% and their walking speed by 48%. Now I know that's a lot of numbers thrown at you, but basically that means that 
people that are 90 plus years old in this study were not only gaining strength, but they were also increasing their activity level and their ability to walk around. Now, 90 plus years old, that might mean that extra walk to the park with their grandchildren. So definitely a good source to look into. Now let's talk about the equipment when it comes to this type of exercise, as well as compared to that long endurance type of exercise. So static machines are typically what people use when it comes to those the longer style workouts that I was referencing a minute ago, whether it's an elliptical, a treadmill, a bike, where it's those, you know, one to two hour types or hour long workouts. Now The pros, they are easy to do. You can get on an elliptical, it's an easy movement, and you don't really injure yourself because it's easier on the joints, but it's not normal movements, and it makes our bodies dependent on the machines themselves. Secondly, they're also really expensive. Not everybody can just afford to either have a treadmill at their house or an expensive gym membership where they have tons of these types of equipment. But using free weights, resistance bands, even just little dumbbells, whatever you've got, this can actually create, you know, new movements for the body. It helps your body, you know, not get into a rut where it's constantly using the same muscles over and over again. And it, again, is more of a functional exercise, creating more of a fitness. I mean, that's what Exercise is really all about getting to a level of fitness so your body is able to be fit to do the types of movements and things throughout the day without injuring yourself. And like I said, it changes it up so you don't hit a wall and it helps with getting over that plateau for your weight loss goals. We all know that exercise boosts the growth of new nerve cells and it actually improves learning and memory in both adults and even in mice. So when compared to sedentary mice, the brains of mice that exercise actually had about 2.5 times more nerve cells. So how can we get this new growth in our brain so we have more energy, less brain fog? Again, it comes back to circuit style training. So now that we know why this type of exercise is so much better for us, let's talk about my favorite ways to actually start implementing it. So I've got four styles of circuits or hit style interval training that you can start implementing with it. Like I said, whether you have a gym membership or you're working out from home or you're just going to the park, whatever it is. So my first one is circuit style rounds where they are timed. So you try to get your exercise rounds in as little time as possible. So I might set up like a little circuit where maybe say I was working on legs for that that particular day and that particular workout. So I might set up 20 lunges, so 10 per each leg. They could be stationary or walking depending on the space that I have. I might do 30 air squats with or without weight. Air squats in particular can be done without weight and you will definitely feel the burn in the buns. Maybe I would do an ab workout of say 20 V-ups. And then if I had a box or even if I was at a park, I could find a bench and do 10 box jumps. So that would be my little circuit. Lunges, air squats, V-ups on the ground to work my abs and box jumps. Now I would do this say four times through in as little amount of time as possible with very little rest in between each exercise. The key for doing this type of circuit is to keep at least three different types of movements. So in that example, I had four different types of movements. I was doing a certain number per each movement and I would say at least like three to six times through. Sometimes it's usually closer to three or four, depending on how much time I have that morning. So to this type of workout where you're doing, you know, three to six types of exercises in a circuit, three to four or five times through, it'll take you anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how many exercises you are doing and at what pace. Just keep in mind, try and and mix it up. Maybe focus on legs one day, maybe focus on upper body the next, and then the third day do a whole body style circuit where you're doing a bunch of different exercises that include even abs and core workouts just to really get the most bang for your buck. My next favorite style of circuit training is Tabata. That is spelled T-A 
B-A-T-A. And there's even an app. It's called the Tabata Timer. You can find it on your phone with I use an iPhone, so I found it on the App Store. I'm sure that Google Play or um, Android devices have some sort of similar program, but the Tabata app is a life changer, especially when I'm traveling. I go to this little app all the time for my workouts on the go. So a typical or original Tabata is only four minutes long. Now I might do two to three rounds of Tabata, but the actual one is only four minutes long and it's 20 seconds of exercise with a 10 second rest. And you can do this for eight times. So you might pick eight different exercises that you're doing 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest for a total of four minutes. Or you could do say four different types of exercises, two times repeating each one. And again, it's only gonna be four minutes long. The key is the 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest. And you could, you know, either way it takes only four minutes, but it can be customized. So on the app, you can go in and make the workout or exercise portion as long as you want, and you can make the rests as long as you want. So just the other weekend, my husband and I had a little getaway weekend and we were working out at the hotel's little tiny exercise room in there and we were limited on space and equipment, but we took, you know, we made our own little circuit and we took our Tabata timer and we set it up to have 30 seconds of each exercise with only a 10 second rest so that he and I could switch to the next little workout. And we did it for a total of 12 minutes long. So we were just going through each little cycle for 12 minutes long and we each were definitely building up a sweat by about halfway through and we walked out of there very sweaty and and good thing we went and I guess we went and had breakfast right after that so I apologize to the people that were (laughs) serving breakfast uh the next style that I I want to share is called AMRAP and that stands for as many rounds as possible A-M-R-A-P so you can even probably google that and find lots of different options I like to make out, make up my own little workouts doing an AMRAP style. It's my favorite because number one, I like it. Then I know my end goal. I know how long I'm working out because I'll set up my, my little exercise circuit. And then I set my timer and I have that end goal. So I can see the numbers counting down like, Oh, I've only got two minutes left. Oh, now I'm only down to one minute. Push through, push through. You can do it. So I set up a circuit similar to my first instance. Usually it's like five to six exercises. So for instance, if I was doing a whole body workout, I might do 20 walking lunges with weights, 30 sit-ups, 10 overhead shoulder presses with either dumbbells or even my little resistance bands. I would maybe do 10 bicep curls per arm. And again, with dumbbells or even the resistance bands. And then maybe I would do one more ab workout like one minute of planking. So I would set this up all as a circuit and then I would set my timer for a short period of time. Usually the best is about 10 to 15 minutes and then you do as many rounds as possible in that time allotment. And there's little to no rests in between each exercises. So as soon as you get down with one exercise, set your weights down and go to the next workout. The key is to go as hard as you can for a very short period of time, get to the balls to the walls here to reap the most benefits for your body. My last one is what I just call simplicity style. So this can even be done on machines. So like I said earlier, I'm currently training for a half marathon and I still implement circuit training even on the treadmill. Maybe it's just the fact that I hate running. I'm not a runner by nature and any distance at a fast pace, I start going crazy even if it's about three minutes in. So whether I hit seven miles per hour on the treadmill or even like six, it doesn't matter what pace I'm going. After about three minutes, I just start to go start raving mad. So I use that to my advantage and I use circuit training to my advantage and I do intervals. So just the other day on my long, my first time running nine miles, I did circuits. I ran for a faster pace for about a minute and a half. Then I walked for 30 seconds and I did this back and forth and repeated this cycle until I hit my goal of nine miles. Now keep in mind, I'm training for a half marathon, but this same style of exercise can have amazing effects for you even if you're just doing 15 to 20 minutes, as long as you are pushing yourself on your cycles of higher intensity. 
Now, and that will be different for every person. So for you, really start to gauge what heart rate you're at and where you really start to feel like you're pushing yourself. You definitely want to be short of breath. You shouldn't be able to have a conversation, especially during the the portions where you're on or exercising at your hardest. And that's going to be different for every person. There are ways to find out your most effective heart rate area or your, you know, fat burning zone. I will put a link in today's show notes of how to figure out that that heart rate for your age and, and what your goals are. So I'll be sure to include that. There's another style of exercise that I didn't talk about and it's called EMOM, E-M-O-M. I learned this at CrossFit too. It's every minute on the minute. And so maybe you would set up a circuit style and you would try to do as many things as you can on the minute, every minute. And I'm this one, I personally don't like to do a lot. So that's why I didn't want to include it in the, in this topic, but it did come up to my head. So I thought I'd share and you would try to get your little circuit done before the next minute, because that the quicker you get it done, the longer rest period you have. So let's say you have just two items that you're doing on your circuit, say air squats and sit-ups and every minute on the minute, you would start that cycle. And let's say you end and you have 10 seconds left before the next minute, that is your rest period. And you would again do that for maybe a total of 15 or so minutes. But I will also include a link for more information on EMOMs as well. Some overall tips and things to remember, always, always, always do a warm up. Even if it's just a few minutes of a jog, some burpees, jumping jacks, it helps get your muscles and heart rate warmed up, helps prevent hurt and injuries later on. Always remember to stretch after. So this will help with the soreness and the lactic acid buildup in the muscles. That's, is it, that is what contributes to sore muscles and that feeling like you have to brace yourself just to sit down <laughs> and it will help prevent injuries as well. So if you have a workout or exercise question, please reach out, email me, Deidre at stylebydeidre.com. I would love to answer that on a future podcast for you. If you're loving this episode or any other episodes, be sure to screenshot it as you're listening on your phone and share it on your Instagram story. And be sure to tag me on Instagram at style by Deidre is my Instagram handle. And I might just share your Instagram story and feature you on Instagram. So as always, I hope this helps you as you develop your style, strength, and grace. Hey ladies, thanks for listening and we hope you enjoyed today's episode. To help empower more women, please be a doll and rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast. For show notes and other free resources we mentioned today, go to stylebydeidra.com.